Hello and welcome to Battlefield 4, a quick overview of the Night Ops map. This is a new map pack free DLC, part of the uh, the summer patch that was released earlier today. Um, if you are in Europe for the PlayStation 4, that comes out next week, but for Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, and PC, this is a new map. To download this, you actually have to download it like a regular um, DLC pack. So you would have to, if you're on PSN, PS3, PS4, go onto your PSN, search for Battlefield 4, look under add-ons, and then download the um, Night Operation. It's free. For Xbox, it's probably the same way. For PC, you have to go to Origin and download that. So, that being said, let's, um, let's play this game. So I've played a few rounds, actually recorded, and then accidentally fucking hit the lead, but I I think the map looks gorgeous, but I don't think it was the right map. It's, um, Zavad. 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 And the problem I have with Zavad is that the, um, the center points have roofs, and there's tons of camping, and so it can get a little bit campy, so I tried it on a large on a server, and it threw me into a server, Huge clusterfuck. It was just total ramp. So we're gonna try. Um, we're gonna try Night Operations versus probably Conquest Normal. So it's its own little playlist. On PC, I wonder if people will throw this into other. On PC, a lot of people do like a all the maps type of thing. Not not as much as consoles. Um, usually the dice large maps are um, are multiple um, map packs, which is kind of cool. So this map is kind of interesting, as it's the first real... Again, no, there was a night map in Battlefield 3, but in here it's the uh, it's the night map. And so what you want to do is you kind of sometimes want to, let's see here, apply an IR or a flare. Let's We'll try this once this time around. Um, but we'll, we'll start from the base here. But yeah, like... Lights are highlighted. There is, there's a moon, so there is a little bit of light you can see. But it's, it's fucking cool. Like it's so fucking cool. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go into here. Go. Objective Alpha has just been neutralized. Those guys on the roof? Oh yeah, they are. So a lot of people are starting to use flashlights and all that stuff, which can, like, counteract IRs and flares. Um, so, like, sometimes you might not want to use a flare or some sort of uh, enhancing. In the open fields, people are... You can see people's silhouettes pretty easily, but once you get into the buildings, the uh, you definitely see... Uh, it's harder to spot people, which is fucking cool. Like, you, you never get this in, like, a, any other battle or any other game. So, like, right here, it's, like, fucking dark as shit in here. Uh, let, let's get into a, a full team here. Well, there's somebody here. Listen, listen, this is our current objective. So, this. So the, the whole like game you play is practically turned upside down um, because you like whoa hello god I really thought I was dead there at first I thought I was uh... I thought it was uh, on top of the helicopter. Okay. Hmm. Check in, check in. Oh, check off. Oh, wow, this is really dark. Lights. Ooh, 
Ooh, another headshot for my uh, eagle upgrade. Like I can't even fucking see the screen. So we can see like outside, but once you get in the building, it gets really fucking dark. Uh, come on. The fuck is that coming from? Hello. Like, oh, I couldn't even see that guy. Unless I had my uh, IR. Actually, I'm gonna. The seem to have nerfed the incendiary, which sucks. I really like that incendiary. What? Excuse me. I have eyes on an enemy tank. West of your location. Whoa! Just get fucking ah! The fuck? Yeah, see, a lot of people are starting to use flashlights, which make negate the whole. Why would you use IR when you could just use a regular dot and you would just be able to see them? And then targeting detector also works through that shit, which is like crazy in itself. Like, it's so much darker in here. Like, look at my monitor and make sure that's... Oh wow, that was dumb to me. Dude, they don't fucking see this. Dude, don't give our position away, you motherfucker! Oh god! Because he had a flashlight, I can see him. Because he had a flashlight, I can see him. There we go. Jesus! That was fun! I forgot I love Battlefield. Is that up above? <laughs> Thanks for giving me your position- Oh, Jesus! Hello! Oh, there's a guy behind me. Another, um... Another good attachment I do recommend, not just a silencer, is a flash hinderer might be pretty good. As it, like, you would hide, it would hide your flash muzzle. So if you're not a big fan of the uh, negative attributes of, uh... Of, uh... There you go. Of uh, silencers, you can also use a flash in which doesn't 
get anything. Yeah, I feel like um, a target de designator might be a little bit more powerful this time around because this auto targets or auto spots people. Also having a good sound system, which we're pretty good right now. About putting the stereo because uh, I'm capturing my usual setup is a 5.1. Also, a good pair of headphones, good stereo headphones might be pretty good. I still, I think some of the shit is bugged too. Like some of the lighting might be a little bit bugged. Let's put a smoke. Kidding me? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Where am I? Where the fuck am I? I definitely need to play some Unreal. Like, they got that beta going on. That's not right. Clear, those are clear. I'm really um want to know how Battlefront's gonna be because that's not a Battlefield game. This is, or I mean, like current Battlefield game. It's a Battlefront game, which is like a competitor to Battlefield, but it's also being made by the people that made Battlefield. So it's really fucking weird. Uh, you know, it's a third-person action shooter, and it's also can go into first person. I wonder how that would do. And also, which is again also fucking weird. Oh god, that was horrible. Yeah, and then they uh, announced they're going to be do a beta in the end of October when the game comes out. Wait, wait, when does the game come out? Like, it comes out like a couple weeks before, um... Uh... Um... Call of Duty, I think.
let's see here. When's Blobs 3? Black Op, Black Cops 3 comes out. It's November 6th. And then Battlefront. September. Oop, that's the other one. Star Wars Battlefront 3. November 17th, wow. Okay. Cool, interesting. Very interesting. And again, that's using the... What the fuck? Oh, what? Wait, what? What is this? Wow, this is a different mode. Obliteration, wow. Interesting. Um... Let's see. Yeah, we'll do the same thing. Actually, uh... Uh... There we go. So another thing they did was uh, change the uh, the brightness on this stuff, and you can also change the um, the sensitivity of vehicles, which I love, 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 love. Still left? Barely. Let's do uh, that in T bonus. We got the oh, my God, what the fuck? would be the hardest one to get. It's a fucking tank. He actually got in. Yeah, I got a tank too. <laughs> what the fuck? Multi kill. Move forward, motherfucker. Move forward. Oh man, that would have been cool. I'm gonna take him out. I'm not a fan of these um obliteration and rush maps, so I feel like these quick mashes 
might not work for me. Uh, I feel like, um, like there's just, I was never a fan of Rush. Uh, it was never fun. They were just like, especially on PC, they never worked right because people would just like make the server like 500, or no, it was, um, the population was, was too high. There'd be like 64 people and the game would end in like three minutes. It was crazy. going to do is oh wow there's like even a fog too that they added it's probably for this game match for the match no weird it's some sort of force processing that they did a hostile soldier has the bomb I feel like we already lost. Now, obliteration is one of the new bows that they added in Battlefield 4, and so I, 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 I've only played this like half a dozen times. This might be my, my fifth time I've ever played this this bow. Because again, it's like a combination of Rush and Conquest. Personally, my favorite is Conquest, uh, not Conquest Large, because it's too much of a cost effect. This is not enough people, too, here. Yeah, it's filling up. Like, it requires additional teamwork that a lot of people don't do. Um, I just, I, I feel like teamwork games never do well. Like, even on PC, I noticed the same thing too. Like, people don't play the objectives. That's why I had a lot of problems with TF2. People would not play the objectives. Okay, I dumped a bunch of bullets into that guy. Wow, I dumped like three bullets into that guy. Hang on, let me help you. I, I like the, the atmosphere of this map. This map is fucking awesome, but I feel like some of the. Oh god! Oh god! I don't know how I survived. Noobs. Oh, everybody, a noob. Noob. I feel like I need to be streaming this shit. Seeing the fucking taillights of the of the tank is so cool. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I'm not 
Fuck you! Whoa! Sweet buddy, and you're dead. Damn it. doing here. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Enemy Just chatting. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. Don't know about that game. Oh my god! Son of a bitch! That would have been like some epic shit! Sweet, my fucking dual shock four is running out of battery. And fucking somebody decided to let's go knife somebody. <sighs> I'm really surprised they haven't come out with a new dual shock four with like a fucking 1600 milliamp battery. That'd be fucking hilarious. Stay alert. We're looking for the bomb. Where's the bomb?
Oh, well, he's not going that way. See if I can get in there. Stop, stop, stop! Ugh. I need to zoom in. I wish these guys had like a little fighter zoom in. Destroyed a vehicle! Yay! They did something. Um, that ops, a little conquest and a little bit of uh, obliteration. Like, I'm extremely... I don't know what to think about this map. It looks gorgeous, but I feel like some, some stuff is not that great. Uh, it, it, it's... I think the map choice might have been a little bit shitty. Uh, it tends to be a lot about more campier. And, you know, camping in corners you don't really check. And so, you know, this highlights that a little bit more. But as always, uh, thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Bye.